Hi everybody, just wanted to do a few more examples for those of you that might need some as we go through converting practice. Here's the question I'm gonna work on first. 29.6 DL, little d, uh, represents Dessa leaders. Remember it's uh, the King Henry here. King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. The big D is Deca, D-E-C-A, and the little d is Desi, okay? So prefixes that are bigger are to the left, and the smaller ones, smaller than the unit, are to the right. The unit is things like grams, liters, meters, seconds. They only have one letter. They don't have a prefix on them, okay? So to do this problem, first thing you're going to want to do is start with your given. Your given is always going to go on the upper left, 29.6 deciliters. Keep in mind that you could draw a line times a line and set it up that way. Either way, your conversion factor is going to be here or here in those two positions, okay? So there's different ways you can go ahead and go about setting it up. So let's do this problem. So first of all, we want the units of DL to be down here so they can match. And we want the units we're looking for, kiloliters, to be here. Notice what's going to happen. The units that we want to get rid of or across from each other and they're going to cancel out because they're across from each other. Now all that's left is to figure out what is the conversion factor. So what we need to do is look at where we are and where we're going. So we have we have deci here and we're going to kilo. So let's count how many tens that is. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So that's one, two, three, four zeros, which means the bigger one gets a one, which means 10,000 deciliters equals one kiloliter. It should make sense. The smaller one is on the, on the right. The bigger one is on the left. So we're dividing by 10,000 here, which means we're going to effectively move the decimal one, two, three, four, point zero zero two nine six for the answer there, okay? So there's our first problem. So remember, when you're doing the math, you multiply across the top and divide by what's on the bottom. So across the top is times, whatever you is on the bottom is divide, okay? I'm gonna do one more problem on here and then we'll be ready to go on our own. So let's say we wanna convert from, let's say we have 14 um, liters, and I want to know how many centiliters that is. How many centiliters? So I'm going to go ahead and set up. 14 liters is my given. The given always goes on the upper left. I want the units that I want to cancel to be across from each other. The goal is they are going to cancel, and the units that I want to solve for are always on the top. So when you look at what do I want to solve for, centiliters, those units need to appear on the top because they will be left over, which is why they're going to end up in the answer. Okay, now we just need our conversion factor. King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Okay, so where are we? Liters. Liters, that is at the unit. And centi, that is the C. So guess what? They're two away from each other, right? We're starting at liters, so we're going to go 10 times 10. So guess what that means? One liter is 100 centiliters. How did I know where to put the one? The larger one, the one farther to the left, always gets the one. That way I don't have any decimals. So now I have 14 times 100, which is 1,400 centiliters. I hope you're getting these, my friends. This is my smiley face with the funny hair. All right. Bye-bye for now.